All right, so this is part two of my breaks tutorial. And for this, we're gonna go over some variations and uh, more complicated breaks once you have the easier ones down, or if you already know them and you're just looking for some different ones, this would be a good video for that. So the more um, complicated breaks really come from varying what you're doing with your arm. So you could be, and also placement on the body. Basically breaks just like any other trick can be completely varied and changed depending on plane, timing, and direction. So say for this one we have like where we're doing this and it's around our waist. Well, we could take it up to our chest, be up here, and then do the same thing, but you'll see that you have to kind of do a different movement with your arm to keep it working. Shit. <laughs> so, if you're chest hooping and you want to do an overarm break, you have a couple of options. Your first one is to break, is to do this and break with your elbows and upper arm and then the other option is to this is for people you have to be really comfortable with where the hoop is because you can go like that and pinch it when it comes in and then send it back that one takes a lot of um of arm movement for sure, or arm strength for sure, and I get bruises still doing that. Um, but basically, for, um, for those, you're taking the same principles, just applying a different arm movement. So, for the one up here, when you come down, it's, you can follow the hoop, and then keep going. God, I'm dropping my hoop all over the place. <laughs> but basically, all these same things apply where you're gonna want to follow the momentum of the hoop, and then when it comes around, you're just gonna catch it in the crook of your arm there and send it back like this. And it's a little bit awkward, but again, you'll get used to it. Um, the other one is a lot more complicated because it's about three or four beats, depending on what you want to do. So it's around the chest, and then once it comes and hits the side of your body, you want to come and pinch it as hard as you can right here. And then you want to send your momentum forwards, backwards, and then, yeah, forwards, backwards, and then forwards again to spin it off. So the trick to that is to really grab it as tight as you can in your arm. Just throw your, move your chest, more like, and then, and then you want to let go so the momentum flies back. And that's kind of a... A tricky one that just really requires um, pinching it tight and then throwing your momentum around but I think it's really fucking cool when you can do it um, so there's an option the other thing like I was saying earlier was varying what you're doing um, with each one so you can really get into it and maybe you have one underneath and then you do an over top one and this is actually a kind of diagonal break. So on my left side, I'm catching the hoop under in that really easy break, the first one I taught you. And then over here, I'm bringing it on top. My hands are going to become clasped. So over here, when it gets over to here and I'm doing this break, both my hands are pushing it to get it to go the opposite direction. And then when I come over here, I'm catching it in this arm and throwing it back. And you'll see that I'm still turning my body a lot to 
keep the momentum going and to keep the hoop on a flat plane, even though it's starting to go vertically, but you know, you get the idea, and then you'll see where it just screwed up. So, there's another option. And then, obviously, you can switch and kind of do all these different things here. So, really, with breaks, once you know these super basic uh, moves and then the way to um, really work a break, then you have so many options available to you. Oh, then the one last thing that I forgot to mention is a variant on this break where you're pushing it and that's to use just one hand. And I don't do this one very often because I usually screw up, <laughs> but essentially it's the same thing as the other one where you're going like this instead your one arm is going to take the place of both. So my hand doesn't really leave the hoop. So it's over here and then I follow it. And then once I get over here and I turn my body, I have it this way and sending it back. So I'm putting my attention on breaking right about here and then grabbing it with my fingers and sending it backward. And actually, I think breaks kind of, well, if you're good at, vert at shoulder ho vertical shoulder hooping, breaks are really fun to do vertically. It's a cool, it's a cool effect. But yeah, so just give that one a shot. You really do have to reach over and make sure that you're really twisting your body. That's another thing about breaks that helps is to really twist a lot because that's when um, you're going to be able to have more control and keep the momentum going where you want it to go. So, um, you know, if there's any, if you have any questions or you want to show me a video of yourself doing it, see if you're, you got it or if there's something that needs clarification, just let me know. And I really help, hope that, um, that these tutorials help people figure out um, you know, breaks or try new, try different ones or anything like that. So, uh, thanks for watching.